afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm reviewing the new cigar from Drew Estate, the Peppy Van Winkle Tradition. And this is the Bellicoso Fino 5 by 50 So there is the density. It actually feels light in the hand, but it is a short cigar. Now, I found out yesterday... I planned on doing this for you today. Late yesterday, I found out that today is Peppy Van Winkle Day. Didn't know it existed, but uh, if that be the case, then this is perfect timing. This cigar is 5 by 50 It consists of an Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper, an Indonesian binder, and Dominican and Nicaraguan filler. These are available to Drew Dipl Diplomat retailers. And... They should be there now. Uh, they, they were supposed to be there in time for Pappy Van Winkle Day. And that being today, October 1st, they should be there. So, for an Oscuro wrapper, that is extremely light. Look at that. Look at that in the, in the light. But that's what they say it is. Now, um, I have already had a couple of these. And uh, as you will know, if you follow my reviews, I did a review on the Pappy Van Winkle uh, cigar that Pappy Van Winkle sells only. They're the only place you can get them. And, but Drew Estate didn't make that also. This is a different animal all together. You can look back at that review if you want to. But it means nothing compared to this cigar. This is going to be, if it holds up, as the others I've had, this is a very interesting, unusual cigar. So why don't we get right to it and find out. The new Pappy Van Winkle Tradition Bellicoso Fino. All right, we're going to cut. This is a beautiful cigar to cut. You can take off just a wee bit of the top. And that's one of my intentions It are. Okay, maybe a little more than I wanted to, but uh, that's it, and it's a good draw. Yeah. Well, I'm getting cedar. A little brown sugar and a ton of cream, very thick cream. Also a ton of black pepper at about eight and a half. That's so, sort of how it's starting. We want to see where it's going. I'm expecting changes as the other ones that I've had have had many changes. So let's see what happens. Careful, careful. Look at there. Well, you know, there is a nice burn there. The flavors now, what is that, about close to two inches in. You have that cedar, which, and it has some other flavor there, which I am going to describe as a sweet tart cranberry. First time you heard me say that, I'll bet. Um, and quite a bit of uh, the pepper is still very good. And quite a bit of that heavy cream and it's so heavy and thick now, I'm going to call it a white chocolate because it is just that intense. The pepper is still extremely good. The finish is a straight out sweet, thick cream with nice lingering uh, black pepper. Cigar is medium body, maybe. Drew Estate can make a milder cigar. This is it. As I said before, do not compare this to the Pappy Van Winkle that the Pappy Van Winkle site sells. It is nothing like it. This is a really a mild, sweet 
cigar with tartness of like the cran of cranberry. I've already removed the lower band, which was very close to the foot anyway. Let's see where we go from here. How about that? just past the midpoint I removed the bands and the cigar is going along about like it was if you did not know Drew Estate made this cigar you would never say this is a Drew Estate cigar you've really got to almost wipe that out of your memory banks because you know what kind of cigars Drew Estate makes usually they're on the powerhouse side of things and this is far from that um, it's pretty much medium body. It has a lot of sweetness. Still have that cedar, primarily cedar and brown sugar, with some of that cranberry type flavor that I told you about, but not as much as it was earlier. And a very nice thick cream, which you could go as far as saying uh, maybe a white chocolate. Although now it's tasting a little more like a thick cream again, not quite as chewy as a white chocolate would be. The pepper remains very good. It's toned down some, but it's still up there. And the finish is spot on what it was when it started. Uh, this is just a very nice, sweet, mild cigar. Mild, a medium cigar, not necessarily mild. Mild for uh, Drew Estate. But this, uh, it is so different from the other original Pappy Van Winkle. It is night and day, so I've really got to just wipe that out of my mind. But it's going along nicely. It's just, it's, it's, it's not a powerhouse packed cigar. down to the end so let's wrap it up good mild to medium primarily medium cigar um, there's not much remarkable about it. it nothing really stands out other than the pepper was very good the flavors are fine they're just uh, they're nice and sweet it's just a real mild cigar. If I didn't know who made this, I'd say it was a good cigar. It's just nothing spectacular. Now, I will tell you this. These come in boxes of 10, and this particular size retails for $246. Doing an easy math, that's $24.60 each. I want you to try these. I know you will. A lot of you out there will will try anything that Drew Estate makes, and that's good. But I'm not sure it's worth that price tag. But you, you've got to prepare yourself for something that is totally a departure from what you're used to getting from Drew Estate. This is a nice, sweet medium at best cigar I'm sort of at a loss for words because that's about all I can tell you about it I mean I've described what the flavors are here at the end the uh, cedar was fine and I had almost a, a citrusy type note attached to it not so much cranberry but a little more citrusy uh, sort of like a, like an orange citrus trying to sneak in there with brown sugar and the uh, sweet cream. And those are your primary flavors. Um, pepper, like I said, remain very good. And the finish is still a sweet cream with nice lingering uh, pepper. Hold on a second. Let me try one thing. I wouldn't really say there's a coffee base to me. It's not enough there to call it a coffee base. It's just black pepper is the base. 
So I want you to make up your own mind. Links to these are on my blog if you want to try uh, some. And uh, that's sort of the long and the short of it, folks. That's that's how it stacks up. So there you have it. Well, for me, it's a 91. It's just a good, sweet cigar, but it's nothing spectacular. It's nothing remarkable. Sorry, I didn't give you the uh, uh, score earlier. I was too caught up in. I'm as floored as you're probably going to be, but it's a good cigar. It's just not a Drew Estate typical cigar. So there you have it. The Peppy Van Winkle tradition, Bellicoso Fino. 91.